When going through the paperwork to file a trademark, you often come across a section dealing with priority and claiming a priority. The concept of claiming priority was first conceived back in 1883 by the drafters of the International Treaty, now known as the Paris Convention for the Protection of Intellectual Property, which is one of the most widely signed and ratified agreements in the world. It introduced the general concept of a priority date, along with the concept of first to file. The general idea is that if two applicants file the same trademark, the applicant that files first enjoys priority over other applicants that might come up with the same idea. Now, Article 4 of the Convention introduced the concept of claiming a priority. It works kind of like this. If an applicant has filed a trademark application in one of the approximately 177 member states of the Paris Convention, they can then claim priority date of their first application when filing a trademark in a different member state for the same trademark in identical classes with identical goods and services descriptions. As a result, their subsequent application can then be assigned the same priority date as the first application. This is provided that the subsequent application is filed within six months of the first application. Essentially, yes. And you may ask, why is this necessary? Well, until today, there was no such thing as worldwide trademark registration. Every trademark jurisdiction maintains their own registry. So in order to obtain the protection of a registered trademark worldwide, one has to register the specific trademark in every jurisdiction the applicant wants to ensure protection. So against widespread belief, Having your brand trademarked in the United States does not give you any protection outside the jurisdiction of the United States. So brands that want to enjoy protection in several jurisdictions need to file their trademarks in each of their desired jurisdictions. Remember, the roots of the legal framework to protect intellectual property dates back to the Industrial Revolution, and most of it was rooted in the protection of inventions that are protected by patents. And many of the concepts governing the filing and handling of patents are mirrored in trademark and other intellectual property rights. Now, while it's not a big deal today to file your trademark online in a dozen countries on the same day, the Paris Convention dates way back to 1883, when filings in local trademark offices involved actual travel, and for that purpose, retaining a local representative to do so on the applicant's behalf. In the late 19th century, there was no internet, no fax machine, no DHL, and getting a European trademark application to the United States Patent and Trademark Office involved the actual transportation of the document and the person applying for the registration. The fathers of the Paris Convention figured that this six-month grace period should be sufficient for anyone trying to protect their intellectual property in whatever jurisdiction they wished. In addition, this concept helps avoid trademark trolling that would otherwise be possible as trademark applications are publicly available. One could actually make it a business to watch trademark applications in one country, then take the same information and file a similar or even identical trademark in a different country right away. However, due to the original applicant getting the priority of its first trademark by using a priority claim on the subsequent trademark within six months of the first filing, such endeavors are not very promising. The deadline of the Paris Convention for the priority claim is absolute. No excuse will be able to extend it. So whether your dog went to the hospital after breaking his leg or you got bumped off a flight and therefore could not get to a fax machine, well, none of that counts. However, there are concepts that allow you the option to get protection beyond the six month deadline especially if you're unsure if you want to spend a lot of money trademarking a brand you're not convinced of yet. Please feel free to watch more of our videos to get valuable insights about the mechanics of applying for trademark registrations, defending your marks, opposing other conflicting marks, dealing with office actions, and many other intellectual property issues. My name is Jonathan Morton, and I'm a licensed U.S. attorney and a member of the Trademarkers Network. Don't forget to subscribe.